What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Made in Abyss. Today we are doing season two, episode 11. This one is called Value. After the last four episode sesh I did on Made in Abyss the last time, I it ended off so much better than it started. Well, I mean, I can't say that because we're still at a horribly dark, horribly crazy scenario, but hopefully it can work out. That's one of the craziest things about this season. And I said this, I think, in my four episode sesh last time was that it's so different from season one. It's so like like a, like, a, like it's crazy. I don't get me wrong. I love it, but it's I just I miss the classic. Let's find relics and let's have a good time. This is so dark and depressing, but I'm very excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut version of this episode. Let's hop right on into it. Made in Abyss, Season 2, The Golden City of the Scorching Sun, Episode 11, Value. Alright, Episode 11, Value. She is the immortal princess, you know. Ruffian. They're trying to fight Faputa and protect Rico, but Big Daddy's even going in? That is true. In a roundabout way, Big Daddy's looking out for you. Because she's Reg's Haku, and Reg's your Haku, and so... Shouts out Big Daddy. Right. Her whole life mission has just been trying to stop her mom's suffering. I get Faputa in her entirely. This is just a rough scenario, you know? Now, what in the f Oh, no. Bailoff. What kind- Oh, no, it's not Bailoff. What kind of tool is- Wait. It is Nanachi and Bailoff with the armor that the, the fucking Hollows gave her? Ine. <laughs> not- <laughs> This is not the showdown I was expecting at all. Look at how badass Nanachi looks. It's not just the helmet, the hair, little everything, the fucking outfit. Bailoff is nice too. Oh yeah. Aputa is tearing him up. He did say, take my soul, my body, my everything. It's the smell, right? Because he was able to have the pheromones or whatever in into Nanachi to give her the memories of everything that happened with Amor Mui. So is that what Bailoff is talking about? Do you guys know specifically? Because he says, my soul, my body. I had Iram Yui take everything from me, but she left this in order to show you. I guess the only and was it the smell itself or the pheromones or what was it? Because now she's showing Faputa the flashbacks, the young Iram Yui. Everything that happened. That whole scenario. And so now you know that there are people who loved your mother. Waco was the best person in the world to your mother, right? As I meet my end. This is so like philosophically deep, you know, I feel for all sides. This is like no one's a winner in this scenario. Not a, not a soul. Forge ahead without fear. And that is... Bailoff officially going out. He's had quite the roller coaster of life. 
R.I.P. Bela, though. Yeah. Now that's true. Oh, I sure hope not. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. There could be a there could be a scenario in which Wazukian thought of this, you know. Cradle of desire from Fapucha in its worst case scenario. This is a true thing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You are gonna die. Voiko will probably be shown compassion. They just cocooned themselves and went dolphin diving? She's trying to fight her, her what seems to be her life's nature right now. Literally ever since she can remember, she's Oh, that's, yeah, that's the thing that got snatched by that one thing. <laughs> Just like last time. You never know what sort of fucking life maybe lived here, you know? The big horse with the pointy fucking Jizo. These fucking things are, are terrifying. Like, literally, the design is terrifying to me. So now that Iruburu has been breached, we have a whole nother shit to deal with. God damn it. Yeah, right? He's like, you guys are, you guys are killing the hollows that it was my job, right? In a roundabout way, Faputa's helping us. So she can hold her own against some of them, but it's a rough world out here. These creatures are on the fucking... Are on the sixth layer, you know? She's losing an eye. Aputo's going through it. And we still have the fucking Jizo. She's an extension of, of, of Irimui, you know? Like, even though she's killing everyone, everyone feels for Fapucha, you know? I know she's gone. Oh my god. Is that Irimui? Iriburu? One last final. Those are her siblings, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Her siblings. Saved her life, only to then just be brutally murdered right in front of her. I love and hate what she said. She said, why is Faputa immortal? So I can just go on suffering like this, you know? There's literally nothing left of you. Reg? Oh, big daddy. Or truly his Haku? Wow. I barely got to see him, but he saved Regs. He's he's R.I.P. Gabu, aka Big Daddy, man. I was not expecting how fucking depressing this was gonna be. Hollows took her, watching over her while they hide. They're literally giving them pieces of them, giving her pieces of themselves. Even if everyone dies, but you, you are the embodiment, you know. Wow. 
Wow, this is crazy. Right? You thought you knew the world? You thought it was so black and white? It's as gray as can be. Aputa's going through a lot of self reflection right there. Like, it is quite interesting. Oh my god, she looks even crazier than before. God damn. Okay, what do you reg in the... <sighs> I gotta wait all another seven days. God. That was a roller coaster of emotions. From Reg being knocked out, to Rico and the rest of them being cornered, to Bailoff and Nanachi coming in to save the day, to then Bailoff dying, giving Faputa Iremui's memories. To then Faputa being so confused. To then the monsters infiltrating. To then Faputa being even more confused. To then losing Gabu, Gabu Rune, Gab fucking Big Daddy. To then being shown compassion from the Hollows who she's supposed to kill and they were sacrificing themselves to save her. To the, like, it's so complicated. It's the definition of gray to me in terms of like the world is no, there is no black and white. There really is none. Like, some things are simple like that, but anything even remotely like this is just like, there's no winner, there's no loser, there's no right, there's no wrong. It's all fucked. Also, huge shout out to you guys who confirmed during my four episode sesh last time that Wazukion said 150 years on the sixth floor, on the sixth layer, so because of how time works differently, and the... The ratio of, of the time you guys told me that it's like around 1900 years on the surface. So the whole damn near two millennia, you know, the whole Belchero, the entire horizon that surrounded up the island was probably all entirely built. Like that's, cr it's so crazy to think about. Like this show, the world building is insane. As a mystery box, the show is insane. It's like one of the best for me. It's just so damn depressing. <laughs> That's why I can't recommend it too often. Like I would be like, like someone like, hey, what show? I'm like, you should watch. Never mind, don't watch it. It's fucking sad. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut version of this episode, early access and uncuts to the other shows I'm watching. Uh, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. You guys are my haku. Peace.